Good morning, guys. Vlad here with the ABT Astro. So today, as always, I've got a special treat for you guys, and that is a review of the Celestron Star Sense unit. For those of you that might not be familiar, um, I run a little astro blog called avt-astro.com, and of course, this YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed and you like cool astronomy videos, please consider subscribing. So. You know, what the heck is a star sense, you know, what's the device for? <clears throat> well, to put it simply, it's essentially a camera, right? That'll take a snapshot of, uh, of the sky for you, and then it'll align your telescope automatically for you. Um, basically, it uses plate solvent to do that, you know, it'll, it'll cal cal calculate the position of the stars that it sees in the picture, and kind of do that for you. So pretty cool piece of kit, um, you know, it's pretty amazing to watch the thing in action. Speaking about watching it in action, let's uh, use the magic of YouTube and check this thing out. All right, so as you saw, basically the telescope slows around. It'll take, you know, pictures of a few different portions of the night sky, calculates stuff out, and it does the alignment for you. So it's a pretty cool system, pretty amazing to watch. Like if you got friends or family over, you know, you're probably gonna impress them. Uh, depending on the model uh, telescope that you have, and by the way, that's compatible with most of the current generation Celestron scopes, you might have to still enter the time, date, time, and location into your, uh, you know, hand pad before it takes over and does it. If your scope does have a GPS unit built in, or you have the GPS add-on, which is, you know, like this guy here, it'll actually pull all that data automatically, and it's a full, um, fully, you know, like automatic alignment. Um, you know, so I've used this uh, in my current backyard, as you guys saw, it's got an open view of the sky. Usually if you've got an open view of the sky, this thing works great automatically. It'll do the alignment. It's pretty quick. I'd say it does it in less than five minutes. I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, like brag, but I, I can probably do a manual alignment, like a two-star alignment quicker than this thing can but not too much quicker. Um, it is convenient, you know, you flip a switch, you walk away, you come back and your scope is aligned. So I will say that. Now, um, and then I said I could do a manual alignment quicker. You know, I'm a pretty advanced amateur astronomer, so, you know, I'm pretty familiar with the night sky. And, you know, I'd, I'd have to like really try to do it quicker than that. So, uh, yeah. Now, what if you've got a, uh, what if your backyard has trees around, like your house is blocking, you know, the view partially? How does this thing work? Um, at my other house, um, that's kind of more in the city, uh, about half of the sky is blocked by trees on one side in the house, right? And I've actually tried this thing out in fully auto mode, and um, I have had issues with the struggling to do an automatic alignment. Now you can overcome that basically instead of having this thing just be fully manual, right? You could point it to specific spots in the sky and you know tell it to snap a picture there, right? Because you know that there's actually stars there and not like trees. Um, and then it'll do that. So that, that, that does kind of take away from the automation, does kind of take away from the cool factor. I would say overall, if you've got a mostly clear sky, this thing will rock and roll and it'll do the alignment pretty, you know, pretty easily for you, or like automatically. If you've got a sky that's, uh, you know, like fairly blocked a lot and that's where you're doing, you know, you're observing primarily, um, you know, it, it may or may not work. Um, so yeah, that. Um, so what use scenarios would I consider this to be, you know, like a really useful accessory? Like if you live in the city, you've got a pretty, you know, open view of the sky, but your sky is just really light polluting. You know, sometimes it's really just even to see the alignment stars, right? I think this thing is really cool. If you're one of those people that's just really short on time, you know, you've got two jobs, you've got kids, uh, feels like I'm talking about myself. But, <laughs> but anyway, um, uh, you know, and you're just really short on time. 
Um, and you know, like time is at a premium for you. This is really cool because you know you uh, take it outside, you flip the switch, and you know it does the alignment for automatically for you. Um, if you've had like previous scopes and you know you just struggled to do the alignment, which actually you know um, it, it does come up pretty often. Like I used to volunteer at the telescope workshop before the pandemic kind of you know uh, shut everything out with my astronomy club, and that was like one of the most common questions that we get is how to do the alignment on these things and kind of go through. So it's you know like after you do it a few times, it seems second nature, but you know your first couple of times it is kind of intimidating. Uh, and this kind of does overcome that. Now, having said that, though, the first time you do set this up, you do have to calibrate the camera to the scope. So there is some, you know, setup involved in that. Um, but you only have to do that once. And once you kind of grunt through that, you know, you're kind of good to uh, good to rock and roll. All right, I had to get a little coffee boost going on here. So what I recommend the Star Suns. You know, if the, the if the accessory was you know like one two hundred bucks, I would say yeah you know get it. Um, what they've been you know I think they're like retailing for around four hundred bucks right now. Uh, to me, it's kind of a hard recommendation, but honestly, I'm kind of going by my personal like feelings and experience, I guess, because for me, it's just not that hard to do the alignment. It doesn't take that long because I've done it like gazillions of times. Um, again, if you're kind of short on time, if, you know, light pollution is really bad in your area, if you just don't want to, you know, mess around with the alignment, um, I'd say, yeah, it's a pretty cool accessory. I mean, it definitely does work. Um, it'll kind of make your life simpler. It'll probably make, you know, using your scope more enjoyable. I guess what makes it uh, worth it to me, or I guess it should be worth it to you, is if you think that this thing is going to let you use your scope more often and just get it outside just because, you know, you're not having to worry about, like, you know, the alignment deal and that type of deal. I would say, yeah, you know, it's kind of expensive, but, you know, spend the money and get it. Because, you know, the more you get your equipment outside and you're using it, the more worthwhile it is, right? And the more of the nice guy you can enjoy. So anyhow, hopefully you guys uh, found this video helpful. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that on the star sense or you know, anything in general that's astronomy related, feel free to leave me a thing in the, uh, in the box below. Uh, if you're not subscribed again, please do consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.